this lab, we're going to use this spark view, a motion sensor to understand two main concept. Number one, how to explain a DT graph. Number two, what to do to create different type of motion. So, let us first do this one. To do this one, we have our spark view. Okay. So, make sure your spark view is connected to the sensor. Okay. It is connected now. Is auto detect. All right. a spark view should auto detect the sensor. If that is the case, then you are going to choose position and then of course, show. The scaling is very important. So, now we have 2 meter on the y axis and we have 10 second at the x axis. What are we going to do? We are going to put this guy <laughs> over here right now. and put this motion sensor over here. Okay. Make sure the motion sensor is facing uh, this way, so that it can detect the motion of this object. Okay. Our goal is to create this graph. What we need to do to create this graph and that is what I am going to show you. Okay, so I'm going to put it over here so that you will see the graph excellent. You see this is this graph and this graph is the same. This graph meaning object moves with constant velocity and this graph from here to here object moves with constant velocity. part object is at rest. So, this is object at rest. This part object is at constant motion, object is constant motion. This part object is at rest again, this part object is at rest again. Now, we are going to do this one. So, we are going to explain, let me explain what is going on. Object moves away from the origin at rest for few seconds and then come back to the origin set go. stop and come back again. Stop and I am going to stop it. Now, let us see whether we have the same graph. From here to here object moving away from the sensor or origin. Here to here object is rest, here to here object is rest and here to here object back to the origin. So,